Clearly, they've gone another direction now. What does this mean to Dwayne Wade in particular, who has announced uh, he's going to opt in at about $24 million? <laughs> and what does it mean to the Bulls long term? Well, yeah, Dwayne Wade told me the other night he had 24 million reasons to opt in <laughs> yep. for next year. <laughs> Good reason. So uh, whether, you know, I think the, the first question that has to be answered is, Rondo, what happens with him? It surely seems like a buyout would be the way to go there. I mean, that you brought, you're bringing in Chris Dunn. I, I can't imagine you're not going to give him the basketball at this point and see what he can do, right? So, um, but then after that, I mean, they're getting barbecued on social media in Chicago. I'm going to take the bullet and say I don't think this is as bad a deal for Chicago as everybody else seems to think. I think Jimmy Butler was a terrific player, and he was their best player. There's no right. question about that. But where were they going? Right. Seriously, where were they going as a franchise with Jimmy Butler as their best player? They were the eighth seed. They were the eighth seed, and maybe they would have beaten Boston in the first round. You know, maybe they would have. I don't think they would have gotten to the conference finals. Um, so you got to ask yourself, well, where are we going? What, what direction are we going? You basically started the rebuild last year. You, you traded McBuckets. You traded <laughs> Taj, Taj Gibson. Right. Um, and so I... My view on this is if you're going to rebuild, go in, go all in. Don't waste time. You know, so now you bring in young guards, Zach Levine coming off an ACL. Look, it, it, people come up, recover from ACLs now. Right. It's, not a, it's not a career ender anymore. You draft Markin in it with the seventh pick. Those are three young players you're going to put on the floor, see how good they are together, and if they're good enough to build around. And you'll find out in the next couple of years. If Levine comes back 90% as athletic as he was prior to the injury, He's still about 20% more athletic than the rest yeah. of the NBA yeah. on average.